a living sacrifice to God. In Romans 12, 3, this verse is called to honesty and true humility. We are to take personal inventory of our lives, making an honest assessment at both our strengths and weaknesses and measuring our value by our faith. This will teach us humility as we uncover our sins and faults. It will also help us develop a grateful attitude towards God as we discover the many gifts he has given us. God has an important role for each of us, even though we may wonder how he could use us significantly. Our addictions may have disseminated our resources and destroyed our relationships. We may feel useless, isolated, and alone, but we are all given special gifts that are needed by others. Paul mentions in the gift of encouraging others something in recovery are especially, especially suited for us to do. Who could better help a person devastated by addiction than someone who has already been there? Part of the recovery involves sharing our stories of deliverance with others. It could mean the difference between life and death for someone as we reach out to encourage others, our isolation will give way to friendship. God tells us to let love govern all our attitudes and actions. This certainly applies to the process of recovery. We are called to even love our enemies. We have been wronged by others. God's love allows us to forgive them and seek reconciliation. All of us have, have hurt others. Love enables us to ask for their forgiveness and seek to make amends for the trouble and the pain we have caused. Often, we need to make special effort to reach out to immediate family members, parents, siblings, children and spouses. Love and action is not easy. It demands that we swallow our pride and admit our wrongs to others. As painful as love may be, however, it is the only way to experience the joy of rebuilding our relationships and progressing in recovery.